Hi, welcome back to another Crypto Dave video. It's Monday, which means another staking update video. This is for week 11. Now, I normally do these in the morning, but I've been away this weekend. Only just got back about an hour ago, and I was without uh, broadband for most of the weekend, unfortunately. So a little bit late, a little bit delayed, but better late than never. And before we jump into the stakes for last week, just a few little bits of housekeeping to make you all aware of. The big change as you can see here down the list is uh, smart cash. We now got just over a hundred thousand uh, smart cash. Now this is because I reset up my smart node uh, about a week ago. So I bought the additional collateral. It's hundred thousand uh, smart cash to set up a smart node now. Um, but it does mean that these uh, coins will be eligible next month, not this month because um, we only acquired them this month. But next month they will be eligible for smart rewards. So I think at the moment it's just under one percent per month, something like that. So providing we don't have any outbound transactions from this address, the address that holds these coins, uh, we should be receiving a smart rewards. I think somewhere around the twenty fourth of April will be the first one. Um, the only other change is um, I've been acquiring a few more coins. Um, now every week I seem to say um, there's a reason why you know I haven't got as many stakes as maybe I should have. But um, one of the reasons, particularly in the last few weeks, is that I have been trading a number of these coins. Uh, NAV, for example, if I jump back a couple of weeks to week nine, you can see we had uh, just under 49, uh, 40, 4,891, uh, then in week 10 we had uh, 5,100, and then this week we're up to 5,389. This is basically just uh, trading, so a lot of these coins are swinging up and down 10, 20% at a time every few days. So I am taking um, advantage of that from time to time when I, um, I'm in a position to do it when I see the kind of kind of pump um, then I'm kind of selling my coins and then buying them back a bit cheaper which means I'm increasing the coins all the time the the offset of that is that obviously while your uh, coins are sat on an exchange uh, being traded they're not eligible to stake and often then when you transfer them back it takes um, often a day or two until they become sort of like fully matured for staking um, I know for example with uh, Linda if you uh, sort of re-block your rewards or, or you make any kind of changes it's 24 hours before they become eligible for staking what i found with stuff like nav is that um if you move uh like coins back it often seems that it, it shouldn't be that they are apparently eligible for staking pretty much straight away but it always seems to take a few days to settle down and then you start to see the rewards coming in so for a few of these coins it's the same for nav uh, pivx i've been uh, trading got a few more of those and a few of these other coins i have been kind of trading them quite a bit recently which has I think affected our stakes a little bit. But anyway, let's have a look at the rewards for the previous week. So uh, starting with NAV at the top, uh, six uh, NAV coin worth $1.15, uh, 14.4 Syndicate worth 37 cents, uh, nothing for neutral. Now, for these coins where I've sold them now and I'm not intending to buy back, I can't see myself buying back, for example, into Neutron. What I might do is kind of like uh, just lump all these kind of amounts together into kind of like maybe another amount or something like that. So I might do that every um, four weeks or something like that. I might take all the kind of coins uh, potentially that you know I might sell and not intend to buy back and then just have like another amount. It saves cluttering up the tables going forward with a coin. Um, you know, I don't really want to clutter up for the next however many kind of updates with you know a row which doesn't really kind of show anything because we're not holding it but um I'll, I'll work out a way to do that uh, i think in the next few weeks uh neo gas so this is the first week where we've received a full amount no um no trading with uh with neo this week so 250 neo just got uh, just over 0.5 so 0.566 gas worth one dollar 52 one bean cash stake so just over a thousand bean cash worth 93 cents uh nothing for smart cash as i said nothing we will receive until the end of uh, april uh linda we had a stake this week which is quite nice three thousand and nineteen worth 93 cents nothing for pivx we haven't had a stake for pivx uh for a while i don't have that many just over 500 i am sort of accumulating and kind of trading these up uh when i can but um they are being moved in and out of the wallet um, fairly frequently at the moment. But yeah, no uh, stakes uh, for quite a few weeks actually for, for Pivot. So hopefully that'll turn around quite soon. Uh, Shard, 3.93 Shard worth 12 cents. 180 Helix worth 24 cents. Uh, no Volcano this week. And finally, uh, 8.75, one stake for Bulwark worth 55 cents. So that's a grand total this week of $5.81. If we jump over to the graph, we can see up a fraction from last week. We've 
apart from this um, anomalous week where I think we received three or four uh, bean cash stakes all in one week, um, up on the last few weeks. So it seemed to be sort of heading in the right direction. It's nice to see some of these uh, smaller coins at the bottom, particularly the ones that are purely masternode rewards for me. So um, Linda, uh, Volcano, Bulwark. Um, I remember saying sort of at the beginning of the year, um, we were going to be accumulating some of these and you know hopefully sort of two or three months into the year we'll start to see some staking returns and we are starting to see um, fairly sporadic maybe once every week or two but we are starting to see returns coming in for some of these coins now so it's nice to see that uh, finally happening. So anyway that's it for this week as I said just a quick update um, ask me any questions in the comments below as always let me know your uh, staking coins that you're interested in or, or stuff that you've been having a uh, good success with um, I'm looking forward to getting uh, started with ontology soon that's one that i've been keeping my eye on eye on and i'm looking to start um, accumulating some ontology i know it's been up quite a bit over the last kind of week or so so i'm just looking for a nice kind of price point in which to kind of buy a few in but anyway that's it for this week uh, thanks very much for watching give me a thumbs up that would be great and hopefully i will see you on the next video have a great day bye bye